Around 2,000 rugby fans turned up for the traditional Boxing Day Waverley Cup match at the Green Yards, where Melrose met local rivals Gala. It offered an intriguing insight into things to come. These two teams are currently top dogs in Scottish club rugby, and they're locked in a fierce struggle at the top of the Premiership. If this festive friendly was anything to go by, Union fans and the Borders are in for a treat when they meet again on January the 25th. That one's virtually a league title decider. This one went the way of Gala, but only just. The visitors won by 29 points to 26. And rugby union fans in the Borders have been kept busy over the festive season. The big game at the weekend was Kelso against Selkirk in the Border Cup. Stuart Cameron reports. Matty Douglas put Kelso ahead with a penalty, but a storming run from Ricky Fluler set up a try for Selkirk's Gavin Craig. Josh Welsh and Matty Douglas exchanged penalties before try number two from Angus Duckett before half-time. Selkirk were happy to throw the ball about and put together a number of classy moves, and when Kelso got the chance, they also looked comfortable with ball in hand. A further penalty from Welsh put the gap out to 10 points before Scott Hendry got on the score sheet following some enterprising back play. Fraser Harkness forced his way over for a bonus point try to ensure five points for Selkirk, but they weren't done yet. Scott Hendry's quick tap penalty caused more problems for Kelso, and following some fine interplay, there was Angus McDougall to take the scoring pass. Scott Hendry went over for his second try in injury time to give Selkirk a comfortable win in one of their best performances of the season. We wanted to come here and put a performance in. Kind of spoke about blowing away the cobwebs. Kind of still got, we've still got a league. Okay, promotion potentially still yeah. to win for so we had we had to win today just to get ourselves back on the road and, and again some of the young boys that played today were outstanding pretty terrible from our point of view I think the little kids out here playing just now are playing better than rugby than we did today to be honest uh, at times we dominated in the scrum in the first half and then uh, after that we kind of lost our way in the Booker Border League Pool B match Hoyk beat Jed Forrest 29-17 with a try bonus Stuart Cameron ITV News